Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Always Compete Seahawks podcast. I am Michael here today with some breaking news from the Seahawks. The Seahawks today have officially released Trey Flowers. I mean, praise Jesus, obviously. Uh, we've been asking for this for such a long time. I've been asking this, me personally, I've been asking for them to do this for years. Um, but, you know, we've really seen over the past couple of weeks that he's just been eliminated from the starting role. You know, Sunni Jones has taken over. And I'm not going to say that Sidney Jones has done a good job yet, uh, but I'll, I'll give him time for sure. But, you know, obviously Trey Flowers was a guy, converted safety, just really never figured it out. Um, and it sucks. I, I like Trey Flowers as a dude, but as a, as a corner, he just was not good. Um, really quick, though, before we get to the rest of the video, if you guys have been enjoying the videos, make sure to subscribe and uh, comment what you guys think down below about Trey Flowers' release. Uh, let me know. I want to hear some of your guys' opinions. But back on Trey Flowers, I mean, the guy just really could never figure it out. You know what I mean? Uh, he had bright spots here and there, but just could never put it together. Always kind of looked lost. He, you know, was was getting just burnt a lot. And, you know, I'm some of the yards that he gave up, you know, I'm fine with whatever. But you have to be competitive, right? You have to be in the mix. Uh, and some, there were times where he was just out of out of frame of the camera, right? He was nowhere near the play. Uh, the the moment I think where I realized that you know Trey Flowers just kind of wasn't a starting caliber corner was against the Packers uh, in the divisional game. Devonte Adams toasted isn't even the right word. Devonte Adams just murdered him. Uh, he looked lost. He looked like he didn't know what he was doing. Um, he's not a good tackler. He's really not that good in coverage. Um, so for me, it was kind of like, all right, well, why is this guy on the team? And the reason that he was on the team is just because we were so weak at the cornerback spot. Um, but to me, the release of Troy Flowers means a couple of good things. So re really quick, these last couple of weeks, Trey Flowers has been playing on special teams. Uh, he actually got a penalty on special teams, which is really funny to me. But to me, this means a couple things. Um, it could mean A... Sidney Jones, John Reed, uh, bless Austin. Those guys are improving and they feel more confident about uh, their cornerback spot. This could also mean that we're going to see Trey Brown uh, come in, our rookie from Oklahoma, drafted the fourth round this year that we have not seen yet. He's been hurt. Maybe that means he's nearing a return and, you know, Trey, Trey for Trey in a way. Bars. Um, so just cut him. Uh, it did say in the tweet, though, that was kind of surprising to me that he requested a release which I guess when you think about it doesn't surprise me too much. Um, but, you know, I just to me, it's really one of those things where it was like it just it just kind of had to happen. Um, and it, it was time. It was time. He just wasn't good. He, he wasn't playing well enough to, you know, have a starting spot on this team. And then in his from his perspective, you know, um, he wants to be a starter obviously and so when he got demoted to special teams then he was kind of upset so i can understand that from his perspective i can understand it from the seahawks perspective so i'm not necessarily mad at anything but uh you know we'll see where we go with the corners let's hope that Cindy jones and, and bless austin and john reed and trey brown can pick up their shit and we can have a you know competent corner room um but that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will catch you guys later.